I love how she still has noticed that there's a dead body literally hanging around on the gym. She's really not noticing the body. Ah! Now she notices. Okay, I am definitely feeling the music right now. It definitely gives off classic New York vibes. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is the damn detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Oh, shit. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been spying on me. You took pictures of me with a lady. <laughs> well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kill you! Oh, shit. <laughs> He comes into my office, threatens to kill me. Get the fuck out of here, bro. It wasn't my first time I regretted meeting a guy like him. Oh fuck! I should have never had blood in it. Come on, come on. Right in the dick. Let's go. He's bleeding. Oh, fuck! <clears throat> you really gonna try and shoot me? Oh, man. You broke my jaw. Well, Good. now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly. Bro, you and pulled out your piece either. on me. It only happened once, for God's sake. Fuck you, bro. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Breaking up your family? I don't think you need my help there, buddy. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures. And tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? You're For as bribing long as I me? Can remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. You're only making things worse. You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner. I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately, like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients and well-paid gigs. You know, start all over? Come on, think about it. You can save my family and save yourself. Bro, I'm not I taking your bribe. You. Okay, now I'm officially about to lose my crew. Three. You son of a... Two. Wait, man, bye bye. One. You are gonna regret messing with Eugene Colbert. I swear to God you will. I don't give a fuck. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. Yeah, next time I won't headbutt anyone. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Hand. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, the feeling that my moral compass was far too calibrated for my own good. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Oh, come on. Who else is coming, man? Who else? Well, he's a nice guy. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, Lord. 
you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> I am so sorry. Jake, how the hell am I supposed to guess it's you if you don't even knock first? Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client. Yo, I almost killed her, too, thinking it was one of the rhino people. I do love the graphics. It's pretty nice. Pretty sleek, clean. I love it. So far, I definitely do like this detective. And it's a decision making story type of game, which I love doing those, by the way. So I'm curious to see how the decisions I made earlier would affect me later on. Because the thing is, your wife assigned me to find out if you're cheating or not. So you mean to tell me? And that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Mm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Okay, use to navigate through the different hotspots. Use X to select the hotspot you want to interact with. Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's Gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. Oh, I am so sorry, but that does sound suspicious. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Your father took his life the same day his pupil disappeared. Sorry, but something just doesn't add up. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? I will, but we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale, and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. Okay. Money is no problem. That's cool. As far as the first case is concerned, I wasn't going to take any bribe if I was hired to find out whether or not you're cheating, so... Tough titty for that rhino guy, not my problem. Wow, this is so cute. Like, I just love this scenery in this. Classic America, but with animals. And the cars, man, I just love a good classic car. And I'm really feeling on the music, like I said. I mean, it definitely sets the stage for what is going to happen. I feel like I'm actually I know in this scene too. Method, so. But I'll search it myself at some point. Okay, so this is the boxing gym. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now.
Alright, so at this point, I'm able to move around. Let me see here. Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. So what does that mean? Oh well. I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. I'm curious. I see that my character is taking notes, but am I able to just access them? Probably. No. What about in the office? Uh, I better leave these two alone. Okay, my bad. I wasn't trying to interfere in any way. Damn, that's a nice mural. So this is the roof. Am I able to find anything here? What's this? Wow, so it's a mini game within the game, right? Huh. Am I able to move this? Probably not. Wow, so each page has like a puzzle for me to find. That's actually pretty interesting. That's a lot of puzzles for me to find though, honestly. Knowing how I play, I like to search everything in every single spot. Uh, what is that? Is there something for me to pick on? No. Damn, this roof is dirty as hell. Lots of random shit, too. Oh, nice little billboard. I see there's two chairs here. Helen Moore's Secret. Kim Pies. Chocolate. Right. Okay. So what's this down here? Can I not press the X? No, I don't I don't wanna see that billboard again. I just wanna see what's on that box right there. No, there's no way for me to get near it. Not even behind it. No. That is so corny. I can't even click on that. I guess it's one of those things where I'm not able to click at the moment. Can I actually climb up the stairs? Hold on, let me see. No? No? Okay. Corny! Alright, let me go down... down to the building again. Nothing to see here. Alright, I am inside the building once more. Let me just... Ooh, hold on. Is that done? Wow. I'm curious, how would I be able to see the notes? Because this guy is taking a lot of detailed notes on what's been going on. So I'm pretty curious to see what is his thinking process. The details in here are so awesome. I really do feel like I'm in a gym. The harder you train, the luckier you get. Hmm. Okay. No guts, no glory. Right. No pain, no gain. Okay, couple of cliche... 
cliche sayings. I'm not able to get that little small canteen, huh? Nope, I'm not. Wait, hold on. Hall of Fame, let's go. Okay, stick the card right here. Huh. I'm not able to flip it back and forth or anything. I just, I only have the ability to stick that in. So it's like I'm collecting little mini trophies along the way. Let me call the wife and tell her the bad news. Your husband's been cheating on you, bro. Time to divorce him. Hello? Black side here. Please don't tell me. My husband... Yes, Mrs. Colbert. I'm afraid you were right to hire me. That's right, because I don't let money buy me off, bitch. Let's go. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly, this is... Janet, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... No, Weekly. Look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something going on at this gym. What was the name? Dunn's gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. But, you're putting me on the spot here. Let me settle into things before you do anything, will you? Alright, but make it quick. See ya. Okay, so I assume Weekly is like an old pal that likes to fetch in the news for me. Smirnoff. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? His pupil, Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his bad luck in booze in some gutter somewhere. So, are you gonna help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful this year. And it seems like you don't either. But, if you do find something, give me a call. We've been friends for a long time. That's hey, right, guilt trip him. friends talk about on the phone. Good to hear from you, John. Take care. Ah, oh, fuck you two. You ain't shit. Okay, well, let me go ahead and keep on looking, see if I'm able to find anything interesting. What's this? I'm outside, okay. So what, you want me to look through garbage? Is that it? Because I don't want to. Is there anything for me to see here? Oh. Good morning, sir. 
Alright, so good morning to you. John Blackson, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, Your Honor. Were you here on Sunday afternoon? Yes, indeed, kind prince. I came down to watch TV after having run the New York City Marathon. How can you watch TV if you're time. blind? <coughs> Sorry about your condition. Excuse me? What condition? My sobriety? Oh, worry not, kind prince. I have a plan. <laughs> Damn, it just so happens hella hard. that you can, apple of my eye, do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. All right. Sustenance? Like what? First of all, what's in here? Nice! Another one to stick to the Hall of Fame. Alright, I'll pin this bad boy right on my book here, and then I'll be on my way. Discourse on inequity? And what's that? Is that it? Is that all I can see? Okay. What's I that? I would just be the last person in New York without a TV. If I had only taken that Rhino's money. Oh, come on, bro. You know what? There's many ways to get money. And like I said, I am not about to let myself be bribed just because I need money. My morals are too high to go down that route or, you know, be that scummy. So there's nothing for me to see here, right? Okay, let me just back away. Where am I heading to? Am I really going outside? The camera angles are a little bit awkward for me. Definitely similar to Until Dawn. Uh, am I really going outside though? Am I really about to wander off? Joe Dunn's gym, founded he in 1943. That's odd. How is it odd? Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that. Oh shit! Hey, watch where you're going, you jerk. Bro, you you're almost ran me over. On. You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here. Or what? What the hell are you gonna do? Fucking weirdo. Uh. Sam's Diner. Okay, this is a cute little diner spot. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Okay. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. 
I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Bless you. Maybe later? I only see one customer sitting at the counter. And he's asking for your cooperation. Come on, it's just right. questions. You're not in trouble. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him, hanging there, like a baby mobile over a crib. Oof. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Wow, that's crazy. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time, never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. Okay, so he was a I regular think here. everyone liked him. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. No, 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 no. Fuck. Um... Let's try Let's again. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Money issues. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A okay. big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Ooh, okay. So she stays away from him. Could be a weirdo. Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. I mean, naturally, since you found a dead body. Um. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me. It might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. And not only that, you'll Joey look Joey used to suspicious. say the same thing. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. Because if she quit right, right away after his death, she's going to be looked at as a prime suspect, you know? Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How, how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.